Decentralized autonomous organizations, sometimes known as DAOs, have emerged as a popular topic of discussion in the blockchain and cryptocurrency communities in recent years. However, what exactly is a DAO, and why is it receiving such much interest right now? In this video, we will discuss the concept of DAOs and the possible impact they could have on the future of finance, government, and other areas. Welcome to Crypto News, today, we understand what a DAO is. Stay with us until the end of the video to learn more. Like and subscribe to this channel and hit the bell button to get notified of all the latest updates. Let's jump to the topic. What is a DAO? Decentralized Autonomous Organization, often known as a DAO, is an entity led by the community but has no centralized authority. It is completely decentralized and open to public scrutiny at any time, smart contracts establish the foundational rules, carry out the decisions that have been agreed upon, and at any point, proposals, voting, and even the code itself can be subjected to public scrutiny. Ultimately, a decentralized autonomous organization, DAO, is totally administered by its members. These members come together to make important decisions regarding the project's future, such as financial distributions and software updates. In a general sense, community members will formulate recommendations regarding the prospective operations of the protocol, after which they will assemble to vote on each proposal. If a certain degree of consensus has been reached, the proposal will be accepted, and the rules that are instantiated within the smart contract will enforce them. In this framework, the traditional hierarchical structures common in major corporations make way for collaboration among community members. On some level, the protocol is monitored and supervised by each member of the DAO. The proper placement of incentives contributes significantly to the overall elegance of this architecture. That is to say, it is in the person's best interest, to be honest in their voting and to only approve ideas that serve the greatest interest of the protocol as a whole. Token values will rise as a direct result of increased usage of a robust and healthy protocol, which will, in turn, enhance the value of the tokens held by each member of the DAO. Token holders will consequently benefit from the success of the system. How does a DAO work? Using smart contracts, the DAO's governing principles are formulated by a core team comprised of community members. These smart contracts outline the fundamental structure that will serve as the basis for how the DAO will function. These are very easy to see, easy to verify, and open to public auditing so that any prospective member can have a complete understanding of how the protocol is to function at each phase. The following stage, which involves finance, will need to be taken once these rules have been formally inscribed onto the blockchain. The DAO will need to work out how it will collect funding and distribute governance. Often, this is accomplished through a process known as token issuance, in which the protocol sells tokens to bring in revenue and stock the DAO treasury. In exchange for their fiat currency, holders of tokens are granted specific voting rights, which are often proportional to the number of tokens they have. The DAO will be ready for deployment after the fundraising process is finished. Once the code is sent into production, it is no longer possible to change it through any other method save coming to an agreement through a member vote. This is because it is no longer possible to change the code. To put that another way, the rules of the DAO cannot be altered by any particular authority, rather, any changes must be approved by the community of token holders. How to get involved? If you have identified a project in which you are interested, there are several different methods in which you can become directly involved. It is my opinion that it is essential to point out that not all DAOs serve the same role, and as a result, the first step is to identify the primary purpose served by each DAO. With decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs, whose primary focus is on technological governance, it is essential to have a clear understanding of the voting rights that are bestowed onto token holders and the kinds of proposals that are at risk. Token holders can vote in some circumstances, such as the case of Uniswap, about distributing a portion of the fees that the protocol receives amongst themselves. Token holders in other protocols, such as Compound, can vote on how these fees should be distributed between bug patches and system improvements. This method also makes it possible for freelancers and other individuals interested in the project, in general, to join ad hoc groups and receive payment for their contributions through DAO grant-funded projects.
This approach, DAOs regularly post these ad hoc projects on their Discord server. Regarding other decentralized autonomous organizations, DAOs, treasury pooling and allocation take precedence over concerns regarding governance of the protocol's technical features. For example, the primary purpose of Shark DAO's existence is to facilitate the pooling of funds from individual token holders as a means to acquire rare NFTs that would otherwise be out of reach for the average person, in this case, the objective is to acquire nouns, which can sell for well over $250,000. This strategy opens up innovative opportunities for individuals to capitalize on the power that comes from access to a shared pool of assets. Transparency within a DAO is one of the most important things to take away from this. The specifics of each proposition are easily accessible, the history of votes cast is continuously documented, and individual token holders' voting histories can even be scrutinized. DAOs frequently solicit the participation of the community in developing novel concepts using grant-funded projects, and individuals with an entrepreneurial mindset are allowed to submit proposals to assist in the management of the protocol's ongoing evolution. Participation in the DAO can occur at several levels. You have the option to trade in governance tokens and pay attention to snapshot votes, you may join the DAO's Discord and work on genuine projects for which you will be reimbursed, and you can even invest in DAOs that interest you by networking at conferences. You decide the level of involvement that you want to have. Some DAOs to check out. DAOHouse is a platform for launching and running DAOs that does not require users to write any code. The community as a whole owns and manages the facility. There is no need to explore further if you are interested in establishing your very own DAO or exploring the dynamic landscape. MakerDAO if you would like to contribute to the protocol that introduced the world's first unbiased stable coin, DAI, you can get involved in governance by voting on changes to the Maker Protocol. If you do this, you can contribute to the protocol that introduced the world's first unbiased stable coin. This decentralized autonomous organization, DAO, that provides a service was born out of the MetaCartel network and has a strong foothold in the Web3 ecosystem. Suppose you want to contribute your abilities as a designer, marketer, or developer to the guild. In that case, you should know they are searching for quality talent to continue killing product demons. Proof of Humanity This civil resistant register of humans distributes universal basic income UBI, tokens to confirmed humans on-chain via social verification and Claro's courts. Beginning here with this democratic DAO is the best place to begin your involvement in the movement for social justice. Opolis is a member-owned and operated digital employment cooperative that provides a variety of perks and shared services to independent workers. Join us if you are interested in the direction that the world of work is headed and would like to have some say in how it develops. Are you interested in teaching the audience through content while also spreading the news about Web3? Bankless DAO can help. You might be interested in this DAO that is focused on the media. This is where you can get more information. Molok DAO, the original decentralized autonomous organization, gives grants to help grow the Ethereum ecosystem. You are welcome to submit this application to participate in the decision-making process of this organization and become a governing member. Hence, if you are looking for a method to contribute to the space and are interested in it like I was, you should jump right in. The water is completely safe to drink. Discover a project that aligns with your interests, locate their Discord server, and join in on the discussion there. Master using a Web3 wallet like MetaMask, then cast your vote with Snapshot. Contributing to the community with your writing, art, and analysis. Also, feel free to discuss your experience with the rest of the community and me. If you made it to the end of this video and are interested in knowing more. In the comments section below, let us know which part of the video you liked the most. We will appreciate your comment and work to make a video on your desired topic with an account shout out. Please like and subscribe to Crypto News and hit the bell button to be notified of our next video. Thanks for watching.